Hello everybody, this is um, Maya. Everybody calls me Maya, but this is Mady. Um, I came on here, first of all, don't look at my hair. Yeah, I cut my hair so short to the scalp that it now it's growing. So it's in that process of like, what the fuck are you gonna do with my hair? Yeah, so I just put it behind my ears. So don't look at my hair. But anyways, I came on here to thank everybody for all the prayers you gave to Florida, for everybody in Florida. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. All the prayers that everybody sent out to everybody in Florida. And um, unfortunately, uh, four people didn't make it. But it wasn't because of the hurricane. It was because of the tornadoes. So let's keep those prayers up for those families that lost those loved ones. And um, it, it's been a hard week. So it's been a hard week for me. Um, with the loss of a, a Cuban artist that was very known and very loved and I'm trying not to get emotional because I've been crying all week so I've been gone um, these past few days and not done my tarot how I'm supposed to do but we were in the middle of a hurricane and uh, a middle of a state of emergency the hurricane wasn't coming straight at us at me but we hit a lot of winds a lot of rain and it, there was debris and there was a lot of things that shouldn't have happened where I am my son was in the middle of a hurricane where the eye went straight over where he's at so I was very worried about that son of mine's and um I'm here now in person showing my face because I do tarot with my hands so but people see me through you know people see me before but I just wanted to thank everybody and um Keep those prayers up for the people that have lost and that don't have anything. You know, there's people with no light, no food yet. And the ones that have light, all their food got rotten. And um, if you can, send over clothes, food, canned foods, water, whatever you can. But I'm also here to say, and I'm looking that way because I'm out here. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm always on the lookout. So... I just wanted to say also that I will be starting tarot probably on Monday because my son's, my other son's birthday was yesterday. He is a Libra, so he's leaving on vacation today. So what I'm going to do with my grandkids, because we live together, is just have some movie nights, you know, do some things. I'll be cooking for my grandkids and just spending time with my grandkids. You know, if I get them to do tarot and they're doing their stuff, I cannot attend them when I'm doing that. So that's why i'm here to and for, to show my face because a lot of you new people don't know who i am but this is matey and some people call me maya also for the ones that are emailing me i do appreciate you emailing me texting me the ones that have been concerned about my family about myself and about everybody in florida i do appreciate you emailing me and texting me and finding out about my family and also for the ones that are emailing me telling me to please come back to do tarot this is why I'm doing the video as well. I'll be back on, on Monday. Also, you guys need to understand that I'm not only a tarot reader. I am, you know, a medium. I I am a psychic. I am clairvoyant. I have many gifts that people don't even know about. And I suffer a lot of the symptoms that a medium bring, has. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of migraines, a lot of fatigue, a lot of like energy drop. Like right now my energy's up. I just ran a lot of errands, but I'm feeling already my energy's gonna drop. So those are the things that people need to understand about us mediums and about us psychics that really work with spirit. We have symptoms. I don't protect myself as much as I protect everybody else, which I should because my protection is the things that keep me going so i'm always like a, uh, i'm always dropping energy a lot because of that and i have to start protecting myself more and cleansing myself more how i'm supposed to even in my religion i have to cleanse myself a lot and i don't tend to do that i tend to help others and this is what i like to do is help others and tell others what to do to protect themselves and things like that so I will be doing that this weekend. Maybe not because I always say I'm gonna do it and I don't do it. But yeah, yeah, I could understand that when you trying to help everybody at the same time and um, doing things for others, you tend to forget to help yourself. So I have to work on that as well. But knowing me, I'm not gonna do it. You feel me? But I will try this weekend. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have a white bath, something like that, and then come back and do tarot on Monday. And um, I guess that's it. I came on here just to advise everybody what's going on. And for some of you to see my face, because some of you don't even know me. But um, 
hopefully i will be here on monday starting tarot i'm jumping around in different signs i'm not doing it you know how i used to do it i'm jumping around in different signs i may take off two signs i just make off two, i just may take off two signs i'm not sure yet so if you don't see your sign up there which i also say that too and i will do it but if you don't see your sign there just look for your moon you know your rising your venus any any part of your chart i've been in readings i have a tower reader that i love and sometimes i go to her readings and I, you know i look at libra and then i'll see a caption i'm like wait a minute that caption is catching my eye let me go in there and see what it's all about and that you know that sign is not even in my chart and everything that i need to know is there for myself so that's something else that you need you guys need to look for and also protect yourself be safe you know don't trust everybody you feel me that's one thing i want to say here now that i'm here don't trust everybody everybody's not trustable sometimes your worst enemy is sitting right next to you okay this is something that everybody should know and that everybody knows already. You know, don't, you know, if you got to give second chances, that's already something you can do. But if you got to give a thousand chances, that's something that, no, you know, and that's something that, you know, I bring a lot of the bullshit out on the table. That's because my intuition picks up a lot on the crazy shit, on the things that are happening, on the real things that are happening in this world. I'm not going to be there and picking up every moment and every second, oh, everything's going to be good. And you're going to be good. And um, this is going to be better. And then two weeks later, a month later, three months later, you're questioning, okay, this didn't get better. No. My intuition picks up a lot of the bad things, a lot of things that are really happening. And that, with that, I've helped a lot of people. Not only in my tarot channel, because I just started YouTube three years ago. All my life. I've been doing this all my life. Okay, I have friends, I have family, I have a lot of people that can um, be testimonial of the things that I've done and the things that I have helped people with. And um, I guess that's it. That's what I came in here for. This is Mady. This is Maya. Um, hopefully soon, the way that I have my room set up, because we moved to a new place, I don't have the room to set up my camera where i could do a live or even a video where i'm looking straight at you guys so i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna try to change my room around which is gonna be impossible because we moved to a place where we're gonna get out of soon but i'm gonna try whatever i can to see if i could do readings where you could see my face um and also the reaction because the reaction is everything and when i'm reading sometimes i close my eyes sometimes you know it's different things that people tell me they see when i'm reading so i thank you all i really thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the prayers you gave us and for especially for the people up north that got the the hurricane milton directly which people are out there with nothing if you can't help please help and, you know anything anything could help two or three cans of food you know a, a case of water clothes that you don't need anymore anything could help anyone okay so um thank you for all the prayers and thank you for all the people that have um texted me and emailed me and called me that are from my youtube uh to see how me and my family are doing we're doing okay um I'm just going to have a weekend of probably scary movies and just like movies that I'm going to watch with my grandkids and just have like, just relax my energy because it's been such a hard week with the loss that we had of an artist that was here in my hometown in Miami. Um, yeah, I don't want to get emotional, but... Um, they um did something to him which i can't say here on youtube and he was fighting for for his life since the 4th of october and we lost him the day before yesterday and it's a big loss for cuba it's a big loss for all latinos it's a big loss for a lot of people even american people that used to hear his music his name is el tiger um el tiger jose and i've been crying all week i've been crying all week because I don't believe he passed on. I believe they disconnected him because everything is money here. But I'm not going to get into that because that's something that I'll get into really, really deep. And um, I don't want um, 
I just don't want to get into it right now. But um, I'll be back on Monday. Um, maybe Sunday night. Um, or still doing tarot. Or maybe Sunday evening. Whenever my um, son gets back. But um, I wish you the best of luck. I love you all. And I'll see you later, my loves. Okay? Bye-bye.